Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we're going to go to work on Goldman Sachs here. I like the way this weekly chart is setting up for a pretty good rally into 2018. So what we're looking at here is a traditional cup and handle pattern. Basically what this means is we've seen a nice rally uh, in 2016. 2017 has more or less consisted of a drop sideways, sort of the bottom of that coffee cup. And then we're going to begin to move up. You get the little handle right here, and that's going to serve as a launching pad, I believe, up through this resistance level, just around the 250 mark, which has capped uh, the advances so far in 2017. So um, if we can continue to see a possible rising interest rate environment, I think that will be good for financials. I think potentially a sustained path of higher rates will improve volatility, which is obviously going to help trading firms like, like Goldman. So as we flip over to that TLT, we'll just take a quick snapshot of the bond market. You can see it's just been extremely sideways. So while Goldman is kind of setting up and other financials are setting up for, I think, a sustained move higher, um, if the bond market can, can break down out of this consolidation, again, higher rates will be good for financials. I think that will bring some volatility back into the market. We'll start to get some range expansion, and that's good for trading, both investment banks and the trading nation all around. So the trade I'm looking to do here uh, in Goldman is we're gonna go out to the April monthlies and I'm just gonna buy a deep in the money call just buy some value here so we're gonna go all the way out to those April uh, monthlies that expire 134 days from today I'm just gonna simply buy a call and I'm gonna buy some call with some value with some intrinsic value so we're gonna go out to about the Delta 80 options these options are gonna act as 80% of stock so the 220 call strikes have a, a Delta of 0 0.8075 right now what that means is if Goldman goes up or down a dollar, the underlying option contract that we're about to purchase will go up or down 80 cents. So the option contract, the 220 call strike is uh, trading 3290 to 3385. So let's see if we can middle it a little bit. I'll put in a bid for, let's say 33 quarter. Okay, so I'm going to pay right now about $3,300 for one option contract to control 100 shares of Goldman. Keep in mind, if you just bought the stock at $248 right now, it'll cost you about $24,000, $25,000, depending on, on where the fill is. So, so you know, we're gonna pay obviously a fraction, about an eighth um, of the full value to control 100 shares for the next 134 days. Okay, and being that we're buying in the money options, we're buying something with some value, so it won't be as subject to that time decay or that theta component that works against option buyers, okay? So I'm gonna put the trade in, and that trade is now working. I'm gonna let this guy go for some time. Going back to the chart, I, we do have to come up with a stop loss here. So if Goldman, I would say, backs below the handle of that cup and handle pattern, so right around the 235 mark, if we break back below there, I'm gonna cut the trade, uh, protect any remaining premium that we've laid out for that call purchase and move on. But otherwise, I like Goldman through 250 into 2018. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on the Twitter for updates to this position as well as all the other markets and trades. Our traders are watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.